Hey, it's John with Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna go over each and every topic that you will see on the TS7 math section. So we're gonna cover all those topics so that you know what you need to be studying for and you don't have to run around trying to figure it out. What should I study? What should I not study? That is the purpose of this video. So we're gonna help you get straight on what you need to be studying for the test. Now, before we get into it, I wanna make sure that you check out the links in the description below. There's a ton of great free resources from Smart Edition Academy. There's a free T7 practice test, a free T7 bootcamp, our T Facebook study group that's got tens of thousands of students in it all like yourself, preparing for the T's, sharing what resources are working, how they got really high scores. So I wanna make sure you guys are part of that group. And then there's also links to our T's online course, our practice test pack, all that good stuff. It's all in the links in the description. And if you like the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe. We have a ton of videos coming out for T7, so I want to make sure that you guys see all of those videos. They are going to help you pass the test. All right, so let's get into it. The math section is going to be 38 questions in 57 minutes. This means you have a little over a minute per question, and that means you need to move pretty quickly. So you need to be, one, familiar with these topics and really just get a lot of practice in so that you can answer these questions pretty quickly. Now, one thing I can say that would help, it's in our free practice test, it's in our online course, is all of our tests are timed. And so that's a really important aspect of uh, the test when you have a timed test like this. And in our scored report, it actually breaks down per question how much time you spent on that question. So you might see that for word problems, they're really tripping you up and you're taking three minutes on all the word problems. Now this is an easy way for you to get faster and better at these questions, just identifying which topics specifically are slowing you down. Uh, and that will help you guys out a lot. So that's one big part of this time thing is really practicing, but using the data in the scored reports, at least from Smart Edition Academy, to help you identify what topics you are needing to get faster at. Nope. Three of the biggest topics that are sort of the elephant in the room that you will see a lot of questions on are fractions, ratios and proportions, and word problems. So those are kind of your high value uh, topics that will really help you answer a lot of questions on the test and do well on the test. Now, another tip or strategy I have for you is you are allowed to have a blank paper when you start the test, whether you're doing it in a testing center or if you're doing it uh, proctored uh, online at home, you can have scratch paper. So one great thing you can do is really know some of your conversions and write those down so that you have them quickly available for you. So your Fahrenheit to Celsius, um, you know, one mile equals 1,760 yards. Uh, any other kind of conversions that you know off the top of your head that you want to memorize, put them on a piece of paper so that they're easily available to you. So the first topic is basic addition and subtraction. So we're not gonna go into that one too much. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the next one would be basic multiplication and division. Again, pretty basic. We we're all should be pretty familiar with multiplication and division. It can get a little tricky when we have signed multiplication and division, so negative numbers. So don't let that trip you up, but uh, be aware and practice for those types of problems. You definitely need to know your order of operations. These are your PEMDAs. Right? We all know the mnemonic, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this is the order in which you must solve uh, these types of problems, which is uh, going in this order, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So be very familiar with that. You will definitely need to use that on the test. Now decimals and fractions, that's something that you're going to see. Uh, it's gonna be things like changing decimals to fractions or fractions to decimals, uh, converting amongst fractions, decimals, and percentages. Just know every which way, forward and backwards, how to uh, convert amongst those. So one thing that you'll see with fractions is a question that will ask you to sort them from ascending to descending order or from least to greatest. So you might get a list or answer options, maybe five different fractions, but it also might have whole numbers, negative numbers, decimals, could even have a square root, but you will see definitely a lot of fractions in that and it will ask you to order those in order of greatest to least. So look out for those types of questions and definitely make sure that you can sort and order from greatest to least uh, these fractions and, and other numbers. So addition and subtraction of fractions is another topic. You will need to subtract and add a fraction from a fraction, adding fractions with like denominators, subtracting fractions with like denominators. 
Now along with that comes multiplication and division of fractions. So that's going to be multiplying a fraction by a fraction, multiplying a fraction by a whole or a mixed number, dividing a fraction by a fraction, dividing a fraction by a whole or mixed numbers. So those will all be within that topic. Ratios, proportions, and percentages are going to be a pretty good chunk of the test. So you really need to know proportions, know how to solve for x to find those proportions, know how to change percentages from fractions to decimals and vice versa. No rates of change problems, so things like an increase in speed or miles per hour over a set of time or a distance. Know those questions uh, because good chance you'll see something like that on the test. So a big section of the test is algebra. It's roughly half of the test. And this is kind of a change with the newer T7 that it is a little more evenly divided where algebra ends up being half of the test. So the first topic we can talk about is equations with one variable. That is things like one-step linear equations, two-step linear equations, multi-step linear, linear equations, and just solving linear equations. So be familiar with that. So now a big one where it's going to actually seem like everything is a word problem. So kind of solving those real world mathematical problems. Uh, you need to be able to turn these word problems into an equation. You need to pull out the relevant numbers in the word problem to do this and not get tricked by irrelevant information. They will put some numbers in there that are not relevant to the actual question that they're asking. And that's something you really need to be uh, cognizant of, is to make sure that you're answering the question that they're asking. And with these word problems, it's all about setting up that equation. So other topics under algebra that you need to be familiar with, you know, it's your powers, your square roots, your exponents, your polynomials. There'll be a lot of questions on these uh, topics and a good chance you'll see polynomial questions. Now along with algebra comes standards of measure. You'll have quite a few questions on these. Um, you know, these are things like the temperature conversions. Uh, there could be military time questions, length, uh, weight and mass, volume. You'll need to know how to convert between all these uh, different standards of measure. Now this is really important because going into nursing school, you will be doing this. These are things that you're going to need to do. You will need to convert from the metric to standard system. And this is also going to be in your career. So it pays to really learn this stuff now. Don't be afraid to learn it. Uh, now is the time to do it. And it's really gonna benefit you down the road once you get into your program, which I know you will. And when you become that grace nurse that you're going to become. Now there's gonna be quite a few questions where you will have to interpret graphics. So these are gonna be your line graphs, your bar graphs, your circle graphs or charts, and you'll need to, again, pull out the relevant information from those graphics to answer the question, not get tripped up and tricked by things that are in there that are not relevant to what the question's asking you. So just be familiar with reading those types of charts and graphs. And you'll also sort of need to be familiar with the mean, median, mode, and range. And those are, can be pretty simple calculations. You just need to know how to do it and you need to just practice it as much as you can. You're gonna see a little bit of topics around kind of right triangles, trigonometry, uh, the area of two dimensional objects, knowing surface area and volume of cubes and right prisms. You'll see questions around the topic of circles. So you wanna know the terminology which is going to help you answer these questions and even know what the question is asking. So if it's talking about the center or the chord or the diameter or the radius of a circle, you need to know what that is so that you can answer the question. You might see things around the circumference and area of a circle. And so those are the topics that you need to be studying for the test. Now the Smart Edition Academy online course covers each and every topic really in depth so that you can learn this material. And that's what we're all about, trying to help you prepare for this test so that you can get accepted into your program. So look out for the rest of the videos where we have a subject review for every topic on the test. And you can check those videos out as well as all the other videos coming out. And we will see you guys on the next video.